everyone and welcome to Saturn in the 10th house of your chart. This is for anybody with Saturn 10 houses away from their ascendant or indeed their moon sign. This is Vedic system, but if you are Western based, it's also good for you as long as you are using equal house or sign for a house system. I will also discuss all the aspects that Saturn makes from this house. If you are new to my channel, sub below and let's begin. So everyone, what's going to happen when Saturn, the planet of karma, limitation and delay, has gone into your 10th house of your status, your profession, your career and indeed your karmas in this very life? That seems quite a heavy position. It is heavy, but it has a lot of silver lining too. I'll be bringing those out for you. Saturn here aspects your 12th house of isolation and spiritual development, your fourth house of mother, home and country, and your seventh house of marriage partner and business partner. Let's explore. So the 10th house, by the way, is also the house of our deeds and our karmas. This is the one house which depends more than anything on what we do, not what we say. You can't fake your way through the 10th house, yeah? You can't pretend in this house because this house is Karka is in any case Saturn. It's about deeds. It's about karma. It's known as a house of karma. So when Saturn, the planet of karma itself, is in your 10th house, this is really important. This means that this lifetime, you've come here to finish some deeds from a past life to do with the world itself. Yeah, so you are here to have a big impact on the world because Saturn was dominating the sky from your ascendant when you were born and even from the moon. It shows that Saturn dominates your consciousness and it, this is all coming from your past karmas. So you feel this weight from a very early age. Now, if Saturn is not well placed by sign, there's going to be some serious delays in your career, in your status taking off and often they are, they are coming from your internal conflicts. Saturn in Aries, Saturn in Cancer, Saturn in Leo, Saturn in Scorpio. In these signs Saturn is not well placed and Saturn is having a real struggle being himself. Okay so Aries impatient, Cancer too emotional, Leo too dominating, hates authority, yeah? Leo hates authority over them because they want to be the authority. It's not going to help you in your career, is it? And also Scorpio is secretive and manipulative. So the, all these negative tendencies come out because Saturn is not getting on with the ruler of those signs. So if Saturn is in any other sign, especially exalted Libra or in Capricorn or Aquarius, Saturn can do a bit better for you. But here's the good news. Even if Saturn is not well placed by sign, in time, by developing the good qualities that Saturn wants you to, particularly after 36, you can gain success because Saturn is able to give tremendous success in this position. He's able to give you tremendous status and tremendous sense of um, public persona. You can become quite famous even with this 10th house Saturn. Some of the qualities then that Saturn's going to give you or demand of you in your career are patience, a good deal of hard work. I mean, non-stop hard work. You're the person who has to put in twice the amount of work that your colleagues do to get half the places they are going. Saturn demands 24-7 hard work. OK, so patience, hard work, discipline, routine, the ability to organize yourself and stay on course. So when you gather those qualities over time, according to the aspects of Saturn, those are the qualities that are guaranteed to give you career success. It doesn't matter what your career, because Saturn in itself doesn't tell you what sort of career. OK, Saturn is actually a very scientific and organized planet. So sometimes being in the army, sometimes being a scientist, I'm going to give you two famous examples in a minute. 
or being in some government institution is very attractive to a 10th house Saturn. But everybody, there are so many other factors that donate your career. The Lord of this house, particularly and your D10 chart. So you can't just say from Saturn. One thing is important though. Saturn often does far better when he has other planets with him in this house curtailing some of the negative factors because the negative factor about Saturn is being too controlling, too fearful, too absolutely rigid in what you would like in your career. So you can become a very hard manager, very disciplinarian. You can become too rigid and things can go badly for some Saturn. So having other planets with Saturn, it doesn't really matter what the planets are, even the sun, even the sun. Saturn does better when he's not alone here. But don't be fearful if he is alone. Look to the aspects. That's always important. But when we consider some of the issues with Saturn being alone here, I know when I started astrology a long, 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 long time ago, guys, I remember the chart that was always pulled out and put on the table as an example of the terrors of Saturn alone in the 10th house was, of course, Adolf Hitler's chart. Don't be fearful. His his Saturn was in Cancer. So we can see how that was an emotional factor that absolutely dragged him down. He was so emotional in so many ways. He couldn't see clearly. He wasn't a rational man in any way whatsoever. And of course, the other famous person is Albert Einstein, who has Saturn in Pisces in here with many other planets too. So Saturn does better with other planets. Pisces is not a very good place for Saturn, but it's very intuitive. Saturn gives intuition in science because Saturn is scientific. What matters is, we're not going to say these two people as a definite examples here. There's thousands of more famous people and I'm sure that you can find post below some really good examples too of this Saturn because it makes people famous. It gives you fame. So the other thing is what house does Capricorn rule in your chart? What house does Aquarius rule from your ascendant? Because that is going to tell you so much. So finally then, just to give you some examples of how those rulerships go, let's use those two examples I just gave you. Hitler, of course, had Libra rising with Saturn as Yoga Kartika planet. Saturn rules the fourth and fifth house. The fourth house of homeland, his whole aim was to extend his homeland in the biggest way possible. Saturn right away from that homeland into a world empire. How he, how he wanted to do that was, of course, to indoctrinate by education the children of that homeland into his Nazi philosophy. And we all know how badly that went. His education was very patchy, too, with this debilitated Saturn. He came to all sorts of wrong conclusions about what is the Aryan race and completely misunderstanding all ancient philosophy okay so we know how badly that ended there for albert einstein gemini rising eighth and ninth house lord eighth house lord transformation of the ninth house theories in physics the theory of relativity transformed the world in every way okay so now let's look at the aspects of saturn on your 12th fourth and seventh house in some more detail. Now, Saturn's third aspect on the 12th house is very interesting here. For such a hard worker, so much focused on your job and your status and your ambitions in life, can't you have a little bit of light relief, a bit of nice holiday in the sun and going to foreign lands? No. Saturn is blocking, Saturn is looking with his strong third aspect at that house. So your spiritual life can suffer from this. You find it difficult to relax when you go abroad, difficult to just get away from work because work and status dominates you in every way. Your spiritual life doesn't take off as much as it could do. Now, there are some difficulties here, okay, because 
I'm only seeing Saturn in your 10th house in this reading. I don't know what you've got going on in this. You might have five grahas, five planets in your 12th house, and it might be thoroughly impacted, in which case there will be a conflict for you. If you've got a 12th house very strong and very, uh, you know, like the sun or the moon is there or the ascendant Lord is there, my goodness, there's going to be a conflict with your work life and your spiritual development in some way. They're going to conflict with each other. Now, Saturn's seventh aspect on your fourth house, very important. The fourth house of early upbringing. Saturn here is going to give some restriction, some lack for some of you. It can go many ways. You want to see where the fourth Lord has gone and the tenth Lord also and make a conclusion from that. But Saturn is going to put the dampers on your early environment here. It's going to be a very strict and disciplined environment or there may be a lack of warmth sometimes that you experience, even if your siblings do not. Mother relationship can be impacted in many different ways. Worst scenario, lack of mother or just a very disciplined, hardworking mother who's a good example to you and helps you in your further career. Father also impacted. So father is the 10th house as well as the 9th house by the way in the in the Vedic system but in a different way husband of your mother 7th from the 4th house is your father in the world itself okay so not as you as you are getting on with your father so it isn't about your personal relationship so much as your father's availability to you one way is that you just don't get on with your father you have a different world view completely or he is, he is just not available to you to be there as your father as much as you would like. Sometimes in a rare situation, you can take on your father's business or your father's line of work, but it becomes hard and it becomes a real responsibility to you. Finally, Saturn's 10th aspect on your 7th house of relationships. There is a deep impact here for many people. For some of you, it's just that you're not interested in marriage at all. That's a rare thing, but that can happen. Career is everything. Or marriage is a dutiful responsibility, but there's a coolness to it. It's not really, it's, it is absolutely not a Hollywood style romance here. That would have to have many other aspects to completely contradict this 10th house shiny here. It's a dutiful, responsible situation for you. Very often there is a distance, okay, between your relationship and your career path where they are not involved in any way. You know, that means where your wife or your husband is not interested or even involved in actually what you do for a living. And there's a bit of a loneliness around that, okay, because your career becomes your concern alone. That can happen sometimes. I think something similar happened to Albert Einstein, who I was um, talking about on this video. Have a check of that. Something similar happened. But you can have a very long lasting relationship, though. But as I say, it's a dutiful relationship. So everybody, I hope that was a useful video for you on Saturn in the 10th house of your chart. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to sub below and also to click the bell notification so you don't miss videos coming up very soon on all aspects of Vedic and indeed all of astrology. Goodbye for now and God bless everyone.